and welcome to Share Talk. Today we're joined by Jason Brewer, who is the Commercial Director of Caracol Gold. Jason, thank you very much for joining us today. Catherine, it's a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Jason, can you start by telling us a little bit more about your recently announced appointments? Of course. Um, this morning we announced the appointment of, of two very senior executives that have joined the company. Uh, Mr. Rian Lombard, joining as General Manager of the Kilimapesa Gold Operations here in Kenya, uh, are currently producing gold mine. Uh, and also Paul Reeves, joining as uh, Chief Financial Officer. Two appointments which we are you know, ecstatic about, which we think will be of great value to us as we go forward. And, and ones we've been looking at making over the coming months as well. So it's great to start the new year off with, with these two appointments. Can you tell us a little bit more about their backgrounds? Of course, of course. Look, Rian is, uh, is a Namibian. He's uh, a mining engineer. Uh, he's got over 25 years experience here in, in Africa. Uh, he was up on site before Christmas, spent a lot of time there, really uh, to see exactly what, what he was getting into and what the challenge was, what the opportunity was. Uh, he's worked at some, fan some, some of the fantastic gold mining operations throughout Africa, and that's what attracted us to him, his experience both underground and with open pit mining operations. So we're very happy to have him on board as we're looking at doing some major expansion work there at uh, Kilimapesa. But also as we look to expand into Tanzania, we made an announcement uh, early December about two project acquisitions in Tanzania. And he will also, his role will also encompass Tanzania and the growth of our gold mining activities in, in Tanzania. So that's Rian, uh, a very good appointment to us, and he'll be based up on site and really driving activities there. Paul, Paul Reeves, he's, uh, he's an accountant, but he's worked uh, as a financial controller throughout a number of mining operations and, and mining services contractors in Africa, and uh, has proven his ability to, to really get out there, work in Africa, not working out of some air conditioned office there in, in Mayfair or the city of London, but actually getting out, uh, being on site and, and really getting his hands dirty and getting to grips with the financials of, of companies. And as we expand and as we increase production, not just here in, in Kenya, but elsewhere, his abilities to, to really control a very fast growing finance team is gonna be critical to the success of this business. So having Paul on board at the same time, and he's initially gonna be based out here as well in, in Kenya, which is a great, a great thing for us to have. Um, yeah, he's another big asset for the company as we start the new year off. So what do you say these two new appointments mean for your company going forward? Look, having two people like this join the company at this stage in our growth is, is a great kind of third party verification of what we've got. You know, with myself, Robbie McRae, our managing director in particular, and, and Gerard Kisby Green, our technical director, We've been involved in this for the past year, getting the company up, going, and so on. And it's always good to have people such as Rianne and such as Paul with their experience come look at what we've got and want to join and want to take it to that next level. So their verification, their validation of what we've done and that they want to be part of it, the, the growth strategy we've got, I think to be able to attract these 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 two at this stage is, is a great uh sign of what we, we've built and what we're building. So great to have them on board, but they're here really to, to drive it forward, to take it to the next level. And both are very capable of supporting the board in that. And yeah, look, they're, they're, they're great guys and they will really add value. And I think shareholders will be impressed with how the company goes forward from here. Thank you, Jason. Talking about next level, what else can we expect from Carica Gold for 2022? Wow. Um, where do I start? Look, we've, we've had a busy first, I think, four months since listing. And 2022 is, is really going to be one of delivering on our strategy. Uh, that strategy, which was to take Kilimapesa from a, a relatively small uh, gold mining operation here in Kenya to one of a mid mid-sized producer. So we've got drill rigs going. We've got expansions to processing plant, underground operations. We've got open pit operations, we've got heap leach uh, operations already uh, there for Kilimapesa, already to start there at Kilimapesa. So taking that asset forward, the shareholders and, and potential new investors are going to see a lot of news as that mine is expanded, as re the resource base is increased, 
and as that achieves increased gold production. So that's one side of it. The next side of it, I guess, is that growth strategy in East Africa. And we announced those two acquisitions in, in December, and Yakafura and Simba. And clearly there's gonna be a, a tremendous news flow there as we complete and as we take those projects through to updated feasibility studies, increased resource base, more drilling. Um, yeah, and that's before we even get onto some of the new project opportunities, which clearly we're looking at regionally here in East Africa. Our listing on the Nairobi Stock Exchange, uh, we've been progressing that in the background. It's taken a bit longer um, than anticipated, but we're very excited with that because that demonstrates to the communities here in East Africa where our focus is. And I think we're gonna get some tremendous support there. So look, shareholders aren't gonna be short of news. They're not going to be short of progress or, or even results. So we're quite happy with things. And um, people have got a lot to be excited for, I think, over, the, over 2022, over the next few weeks, over, over the next few months. So lots happening. It certainly sounds like it. Jason, thank you very much for joining us today. Catherine, it's a pleasure. Thank you. And thank you for watching Share Talk.